Hello dudes and dudettes and welcome to the first episode of Let's Feed Play Feed the Beast uh, tutorials. I'm gonna be building some pretty cool shit and I've already built some stuff, you know. Automatic fermenter setup, you know, just to show you I've came up with this like in the past hour or so. It involves a bit of, you know, Zycraft, which is awesome. This is it. Okay, so we got some red power. We got a timer. We got these uh, Zycorian blocks. They go all the way down to bedrock just because I'm creative. They're not too hard to make though, so if you do have them maxed, it's just like so great because they grow sugar farm in like two seconds. Like almost every second one grows. And so you have them pumping out into a fermenter. And that fermenter uh, pumps biomass. Biomass gets full, but usually you would start out the fermenter with like a Sterling engine, which is like no problem. And then you would just have an aqueous. Okay, we're running out of water. Alright, so we'll go like this. Is it, is it getting water? Hmm. Maybe is this getting water? Alright. Hold on. Stone. Transport pipe. Water. Okay. Sorry about that. We'll just... It's always good to have like two. I don't know why that one's not getting water. But I just have two just so it'd stay full with water. And so like this would get full. The engine would get full. This would get full of biomass, of course. And you just have this feeding it. Never run out, you know. Just be chill about it. Just be like, oh, yeah, just an infinite farm. Pretty compact, you know. And then we're going to use some more Zycraft. I just love this about Zycraft. It's like the newest addition. So we're going to get a valve. It is awesome. It just, it's really easy. You just need these things called, um,. What are they called? Glass. You need these glass viewers, but you just need these things called engineering blocks, and they're just great. And uh, you can do this with liquid ducts or whatever. And so basically, you can have. We're just gonna build a short little one, but you can actually have a tank up to like, um, a 12 by 12. We're just gonna build a small one. It's, it's really cool. I like this a lot. Like this, this Zycraft mod is just great. I mean, usually you have to, you have to freaking do all the, the iron tanks, which take a bunch of iron. And I'm just like not for that. So I just build these simple little Zycraft tanks. Plus you can build them out of whatever you want. You can have a gold tank if you wanted. That's what I'm saying. It's like really cool the possibilities. And you can build small tanks. You can build huge tanks. twelve Up to 12 by 12. That's huge. Like insanely huge. Then you have these glass viewers which are just made with like glass panes around like. Or glass around like an iron. They're really easy. And it makes like a, a lot. And then you use these to just view your glass and they actually have connect glass textures which is cool so anyways what you do is you make like a tank shape then you go over to this and you uh, right click it and it unifies that it's a tank now and it this blue line indicates that it's a whole tank you can actually shift click on or not shift click on it. you can right click on it and see how much biomass right now we only have you know about two buckets and that's that's pretty good I mean look at how cool that looks um, just to simulate it you know sitting here and like constantly gathering biomass I'm just gonna go ahead and like put in some you can put it in right here or right here and uh, see it's starting to fill up it, it looks awesome I can't say more this guy did a great job on this mod I am just like Wow, and it holds a lot too. This holds 432 buckets. So yeah, you got your automatic self-sustaining um, farm. You just have to put in some fertilizer, which is easy. You just come, put in some fertilizer, lasts for a long time, 
You don't have to. You probably get like this whole thing out of like a stack of fertilizer. And fertilizer is easy to make. And your engine will always stay satisfied if you leave it on. The lava won't drain, and the biomass will always be full. It's it's just great. It is really great. But anyways, yeah, that's the that's the mod that I have for you guys. Also, I'm gonna build something just to show you a little bit more of Zycraft because I thought this was really really neat. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and I built another little tank. Except I put the the valves on top. Now I'm going to go ahead and signify this by the center one. And each of these hold data, but this this one that I sh that I right clicked on, this holds all the data. So if I destroy that one, it'll get rid of all the data in the middle. Same with this one over here. And uh, you could also do that with saplings now that I think about it. You could just have more like a lot more stuff. Anyways, uh back to this one. We, yeah, there's actually a Zycorium block, which is so neat. I'm just Oh, I love this Zycraft. He is awesome. Zycorium water. Now these X is a is a water source block. They're actually really awesome. But if you put them on these valves, what happens is the the tank will start to, you know, get a lot of water. It's actually getting like a bucket every like point three seconds. So if you want a tank of water, you know, just put some of those on top. Just water. It just looks awesome. I mean, you could have like a whole tank room. It's really cool. I mean, biomass looks awesome. I can't wait to have one of these in my own Let's Play. It's going to be great. And uh, I'm just really excited about this Zycraft mod. I mean, look at how fast that filled up. That's really big. Like, wow. There's also some of this stuff. Now, with this with this over here... Oh, that's cool. I wonder if you can swim in the tanks. Hold on, I'm gonna try that. Again, this won't destroy the data. Um... I was in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I get you. You have to shift-click every time you break the wall. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was in there with the water. It doesn't make you suffocate. That's pretty cool. That's nice. So let's let's go ahead and put a mob in there. Let's see egg. Nope, didn't work. Spawn. Alright, we'll go ahead and put a witch in there. Alright, so we have to turn it back on easy. Got a witch in this. She can have like mobs in your tank. And uh, the witch is not gonna die in there. You can have like mobs and like freaking. I don't know, will he die? I don't think he will. So you yeah, have mobs in like tanks. Like, certain mobs have to be certain. Like, creepers have to be contained in oil. That's actually a really bad idea. Explosives with explosives. Never mind. Creepers have to be contained in water. <laughs> Anyways, this is still working. This will never run out. I know it won't. This is because it's constantly, you know, getting. I mean, it's great. I just love this. And this is just like small time, too. You could have like sugarcane farms and manually put it in, but I mean this is just like automatic, like all the way. I'm thinking about a way to um, get the fertilizer in with like and gates and stuff. If it's not full, then put some in, and then yeah, it's gonna be great. I can't wait to play a Let's Play series with you guys. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have all sorts of stuff but anyways today's topic just like automatic self-sustaining bio farm this will fill up slow just because it's like sugar cane but I mean it's easy so we, we could just put some saplings in there for the hell of it so you came back you're just like oh okay so we can just like put some saplings in there and then the biomass fuel, uh, tank will just be like okay just squeeze it right out the only thing is, if you put something else, then it's gotta be like that. 
All right. Well, I think that's that uh, concludes uh, today's episode of Let's Play Feed the Beast Useful and... Uh, no, not Useful. What am I saying? Let's Play Feed the Beast, uh, you know, chillin', like a villain. I think that's the end of this episode. Thanks for tuning in, dudes and dudettes, and make sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you want me to create something, because it's definitely possible. Nothing's impossible. Even teleportation in the real world. Alright, um, see you guys.